42% tax. How am I supposed to live off the remaining amount? Hey friends, my name is SNN and in today's video, I'm going to talk about the cost of living in Germany. I will cover the most common topics like accommodation, food and groceries, travel costs in Germany, and my opinion on the general costs of living in Germany. Taxes are pretty high in Germany, but do you know what's free? It's hitting the like button. It only takes a second and helps me out a lot. And as a thank you, here's a picture of a kitty. The average salary before taxes in Germany in the last year was 42,500 euros. Now the taxes are based on your tax class and these vary depending on your situation. Consider the 42% tax for the tax class one. An individual with 42,500 euros per year salary will have 2,050 euros after taxes per month. Is this amount enough? Let's have a look. One thing I need to mention here is that the cost of living is very subjective. But I would try to give a general idea of how things might cost in various situations. The first major expense is the rent, which depends on size, location and condition. If you live in a small city in the outskirts outside the city center or the downtown, you pay less. Now, if you move to the outskirts of a bigger city, it gets even more expensive and even more expensive if you move in the city center of a bigger city like Stuttgart or Munich. Then the size of the accommodation. Shared apartments or WGs are pretty common in Germany. Here individuals have their own private room but share their kitchen and toilet with others. Many students and young professionals prefer these kinds of accommodations. These shared apartments are generally the cheapest option that you can find. Then our studio apartments where you have an individual room and there is a toilet and a kitchen within this room. These studio apartments are a bit more expensive than the shared rooms. Then come the two or more room apartments or homes, which would be generally more costly. Utilities either come included or excluded from your rent. Now utilities would include electricity costs, heating costs, water and garbage. Internet is one thing that sometimes gets included with the utility costs and is mostly included in the rent for the shared rooms. The dreaded broadcasting fee comes next. Now this broadcasting fee is hated by almost every single person living in Germany. The monthly fee for public broadcasting is 17.5 euros. This fee is due per household and does not matter how many people live in the apartment. Every household has to pay this fee even if they don't have a radio, computer or a television in their apartment. People living in a shared apartment don't have to pay this individually. All of the people can make a community and pay as a single entity. Additionally, people having multiple homes do not have to pay for their secondary homes. They only have to pay for their primary residence. The second major cost is food and groceries. Groceries are cheaper in Germany compared to the neighboring countries. If one goes to the discount stores like Aldi, Lidl, Penny, Netto, etc., they can get their groceries for a relatively cheaper price. These discount stores offer their own products which are comparable to the big brand names and are considerably cheaper. If you buy from a local store, the quality might be better but the price will definitely be more expensive compared to these discount stores. When it comes to dining out, Donuts and pizzas are the cheapest options available. They generally cost between 3 to 5 euros for a meal. Medium level shops can cost between 10 to 15 euros per meal. Most people spend 17 euros per person per meal eating out. The third major expense is transportation. Germany has a great public transportation network. Even the smaller cities have decent connections available. One has the option to buy single trip tickets, day tickets, weekly tickets, monthly tickets. The bigger the bundle, the lower the average cost per trip. There are regional tickets and special offers as well. For example, you can buy a provincial ticket where you can travel the whole province within the same day. And if you are younger than 27 years old, there are also additional offers available for you. If you have your own car, the average petrol cost is approximately 1.39 euros per liter. But then there are additional insurance costs which also vary. Obviously, there are other costs, for example, clothing, personal care, entertainment, but these are very personalized expenses. And the cost of living in Germany is based on your lifestyle. Very modest living conditions, which most students live under, would cost you approximately 400 euros per month, including rent, insurance, food, transportation, and some free time activities. Young professionals living in somewhat decent conditions would need approximately 1100 euros per month. Obviously on the higher end, even 100,000 euros per month would not be sufficient for some. So coming back to the original questions, is it possible to live very comfortably in Germany even if you are paying up to 42% in taxes? The answer is absolutely. Yes, you can live 
very comfortably even if you are paying 42% tax and are in the tax class one. And you can also have some decent savings on the site as well. If you're interested in knowing how to stop your savings from losing their value, I have a video here where I talk about the investing opportunities in Germany. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bleib gesund.